even though they there was a lot of motivation there to come into today. It looks like they were very flat at the start. Zeroes the third over with the first missed fields, and it looked like they gave away at least 25, 30, maybe as much as 35 runs with drop chances, missed fields, and it just looked like they were flat throughout in the field, and then it carried over into the bad in innings. Um, what happened out there today? Um, I mean, uh, th uh, throughout the tournament, um, uh, we didn't bowl well and, and we didn't feel well, and uh, uh, but still, whatever said and done, um, we were motivated for like you know in the morning today to come and and have have do our best like you know to get through this game. Uh, from, but from the morning, um, uh, we were not up there. Bowlers bowled a pretty um, uh, bad line and lens. Uh, every over we, we gave a loose ball. Um, uh, so uh, the the fielding we gave about I, I would say about 20 runs. Um, uh, but whatever said and done at the at the end, uh, still I thought 258 was gettable. Uh, it was a good ground and 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 uh, good good uh, pitch throughout the, uh, the the whatever the overs that we played. So you can't complain that the wickets were hard to bat. So it, it, it we, we had the game, but um, the batters also didn't take responsibility from the top of the order. So nothing really went uh, in our way. Trevor Penny was working with the team before Division Four, and there were a lot of fielding errors in that tournament. And he's even been with the team for a longer, more extensive period uh, to work even more intensely with the team. And the fielding mistakes haven't gone away. What is there anything that you can pinpoint why the team is not improving in that area? The the fielding, and even in I would say in, even when it comes to batting as well. Like you know the the some of the things that we we try to practice at the highest level, the, the international level here, with the training. The players don't get that opportunity to go back and practice in, in, in any different league because it's totally different uh, than that, than what we wanted in LA. That we had we had the, the camp that we had just before leaving South Africa was a very good camp, and you know everybody put a lot of effort in in South Africa. I was very satisfied the way we all moved forward. But when the pressure came in on onto the tournament, uh, the boys got, went back really uh, to their old habits. Um, so we all were surprised, and, and and we were scratching our heads, like you know, to see what what we would have done differently to uh, get this team better. But uh, I can't think of anything. It's it's all about uh, uh, for them to you know keep practicing, and even in, in when they play in their whatever the lower level league that they play, they need to you know practice the same things that we, we do here, um, uh, and take little bit of leadership and 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 play hard. But Having said all all these things, like you know, I, I I still give lots of credit to the this group. Like you know, they they still wanted to win. They you know they they all are very upset what what happened you know in this tournament. Um, and we never had a momentum from the beginning. Like uh, I mean, I, when we when we started the tournament first game, that first seven overs was like I thought okay we 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 were, we were off to a flying start and everything is working and then that that uh, after that uh, rain break in the in the, in the Oman game from that onwards everything was like you know few few bad decisions against us uh, and we the, our batters played like you know some bad cricket uh, and bowlers some of the bowlers that uh, we uh, we always depend like uh, a player like Timil Patel I you know I have seen him watched him uh, for the last four or five years uh, when I was coaching Nepal also and He's one of the guys who would never give a, a short pitch or a full toss. Very rarely it happened. He always put the ball onto the right areas. But this tournament, uh, including him, like you know, we were every over we were giving that short pitch or a full toss. Uh, so um, I, I, I think the pressure got got to them. Um, and it's one of the tournaments that is like for me also to take, uh, like you know. Uh, Take in because this is the first time that I'm in a lower division uh, World Cricket League that I'm losing, uh, not, not going through the, to the next level. Um, but overall, like you know, uh, just this group has to keep the keep the keep the momentum and keep the that you know the effort to uh, take uh, USA cricket to the next level. You mentioned in your second answer, and again just now, one bad ball and over. It's not just that there's a bad ball and over; it's when it's happening. I can't uh, begin to count how many times that final ball where the pressure has been there, there's been a good over, and then that sixth ball goes for a boundary and it just releases everything. Um, and it happened three times in the power play today. Is it a matter of losing focus or is there something else that you can explain why that's happening at that particular moment? 
Uh, no, I mean, like you know, like even, even today, I was talking like we, we, we nine overs we bowled at for around 41 runs, and then the last over went for 12 or 13 runs with three bad balls to finish the uh, power play, and it ended up around 55 runs in the in the in the, in the 10 overs. It was a big difference, like you know, 41 runs to 55. Um, uh, one is like you know, I mean, there are players who, who train. He, who try to train a lot in the in the last uh, couple of months, but there are players who don't have time to train also. So, but still we we, we were believing in, in them because you know the the performance that they had before and um, and uh, and the level that they have played uh, earlier. Uh, it, it was a tough, very tough call. Like you know, I mean, uh, even a Singapore game yesterday when when the when the bowlers were asked to bowl good yorkers and you know good areas in the middle when we need that uh, extra like you know wicket. Uh, the bowlers didn't ne never came through. Uh, I was so happy to see Jesse came through decent in the mid second spell. Um, overall, um, we were not the bowlers were not consistent at all. So that was uh, I would say that's for the number one failure um, for for where we are right now. Big moment in the game. Rizwan Chima gets out in the 39th over, uh, and he's been their dangerous player early in this tournament. It was 159 for five at the end of that over. And then they put on 97 after he got out in the last 11 overs. Did you feel that the team relaxed a bit, maybe after having got out and him out? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like you know, it's uh, it's again like you know, I'm coming back to the point where the the the, the bowlers were not consistent in the, in the line and length because every time in in this tournament, it's not only today. Every time when we got, get a wicket and you know we are style, you know suddenly we come and and hold have a hold of the game. And then the next over we come and bowl few few bad balls, and then the, the game goes away again. Um, I mean, at, at the end, like you know, some of these guys batted well uh, to, uh, for Canada, but still, uh, there's no excuses. Like you know, for us, um, every over we give uh, one or two bad balls for them to score boundaries, and and, and there is no pressure even like you know for the good balls. Um, the the singles were not stopped. Uh, there were a few misfields even at the end, so it's a. It, I, I would say, like you know, the overall, it was a, it's a. It was a tough day for USA cricket. Heading into the last day, you guys can't be promoted, obviously, but there is still something to play for. You're trying to not get relegated now. Everybody is looking pretty depressed. Um, do you feel there will be a chance over the next 48 hours, to come out of out of the off day, to motivate the guys? No, yeah, like uh, we we had a, we had the chat. It's that like it's uh, whether it's going to be in, happen next next round in two and a half years or three years. Uh, our 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 responsibility to you know stay whatever the highest level that we can we can be. So uh, it's a big take on like you know Uganda game we have to win, and and I was taking the net run race like you know we are still on a good play, good position if we win the match next day. So just need to play our best cricket uh, uh, sake of USA.